I don't know about you, but after this year, I am itching to get out of my apartment and enjoy nature. Well, at least that's what I told myself during quarantine. <laughs> I am one with nature. 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 Honestly, I do really like the idea of visiting a national park. But, I mean, due to the wild animals, the humidity, the necessity of hiking boots, it's actually illegal for me to go. The South has so much to offer. Biscuits, Reese Witherspoon, the SEC, and the largest known cave system in the world. Wait, what? National parks in the United States are so important. They teach us about the environment, history, and protecting natural places of beauty. I stand national parks, especially the southern ones. I'm not going to say that the South has the best national parks in America, but I mean, I'm not not going to say it. Today, we're counting down the best national parks to visit in the South this summer. I'm your host, Leah Gibson, and this is The Tea. Honestly, I have like a love-hate relationship with nature. I mean, the idea of it is fun, but once you're really out there and all of this, you know, I don't know, the ickiness of it sometimes just really kind of drives you back in the house. So we're working on it. Beginning our list with number five, Dry Tortugas National Park. Dry Tortugas National Park is made up of seven small islands situated 67 miles west of Key West. The islands were discovered by Ponce de Leon in 1513. They were named after the lack of fresh water on the islands and the abundance of sea turtles. Say the turtles. Once you arrive by ferry or seaplane, there is so much to explore. Visitors can hop between islands and check out Fort Jefferson, a fortress and prison used during the Civil War. Snorkel amidst vibrant coral reef. And because the islands are a designated layover point for migrating birds, there is an amazing bird watching scene. So someone tell me why I feel like I would run into the cast of Pirates of the Caribbean on here. I mean, I'm not complaining, so shout out to Orlando Bloom. Coming in at number four, Shenandoah National Park. They say Virginia is for lovers, but they must mean nature lovers because Shenandoah National Park, located in the heart of Virginia, is nature at its finest. Frequented for hiking, fly fishing, rock climbing, and camping, this park's most iconic feature is the historic Skyline Drive. It's 105 mile stretch of road along the Blue Ridge Mountains. Okay, that's some pretty serious stuff. This scenic byway provides boomers, I mean visitors, with spectacular views of the Virginia mountaintops year round from the comfort of their cars. It is especially popular during fall foliage season and I would say that Shenandoah National Park is a southern gem. Did someone say experiencing nature from my car? Win-win, if I've ever heard it. I'm thinking that this should be number one. What about you? Next up, number three, Congaree National Park. Newly established in 2003 and often referred to as the Redwoods of the East, Congaree National Park is home to the largest and tallest tract of old growth bottomland hardwood forest left in the United States. This designated wilderness area is located in central South Carolina and is a sanctuary for diverse plant and animal life. It's also historically significant, once being home to Native Americans and later a refugee for escaped slaves, Congaree National Park also offers an accessible boardwalk hike for everyone to enjoy as well as breathtaking canoeing, birding, and camping experiences. Honor nature and history when you visit Congaree National Park. A boardwalk, like a boardwalk with like ice cream and mini golf, I'm sold. I love that this park combines history and nature. That's so cool. 
Gold star for the South. Coming in at number two, Big Bend National Park. Although practically unreachable and uninhabitable at one point. Think dirt roads in the middle of the Texas desert. Big Bend National Park is now one of the most popular vacation destinations in Texas. Located along the sweeping 118 mile curve of the Rio Grande, Big Bend offers over 800,000 acres of biodiverse land to explore including preserved Native American historical sites, over 450 species of birds and other animals in their natural habitat, and unmatched stargazing at night. It was named one of the top 10 places in the world for stargazing. I mean, that sounds kind of romantic to me. <laughs> By car, foot, bicycle, or boat, Big Bend National Park is an endless source of breathtaking natural beauty for southerners and everyone else to explore and enjoy. Texas dessert or desert? Because I love dessert, I mean, obviously. Dirt roads in the middle of Texas? Well, I'm out, but it does sound kinda cool. And last but not least, coming in at number one, Mammoth Cave National Park. Located in West Central Kentucky, Mammoth Cave National Park provides visitors with a once in a lifetime experience. This World Heritage Site is famously home to the longest known cave system on planet Earth. Its limestone formations and underground passageways make up the 400 mile long cave systems that showcase the Earth's evolutionary stages and contain a multitude of rare flora and endangered species. Mammoth Cave National Park has a wide range of cave tours for guests, including a physically demanding crawling tour and nighttime tour by lantern light. There truly is nothing else like this park on planet Earth. I can't believe there's not a fast food chain called like Kentucky Fried Cave Chicken or Cave Cravings, something like that. Anyone, if you trademark that, you need to send me a check. Just saying. There you have it, folks. Five national parks in the South that you need to visit. I hope this was as enlightening for you as it was for me. So I guess we're gonna have to pack our tea to go in like a thermos or whatever you people out there do that camp on a regular basis. Send me some suggestions. I don't know these things. All right, folks, let me know your favorite national park in the comments. Click subscribe, y'all. You know you want to. I mean, aren't you enjoying this? I'm enjoying this.